Hey, welcome everybody. This is Outdoors Jeff. Uh, welcome to my first video, actually. I started this channel. I wanted to uh, <clears throat> do some reviews on some products, outdoor-related stuff, whether it's camping equipment, hunting, fishing, all that good stuff. So today I wanted to put my first video up on this recent axe I bought. This is a hand axe. S-Swing. It's a 16-inch camper's axe. Now, I will say, when, when you're shopping, I got this guy for $36 on Amazon. When you're shopping for hand axes, <clears throat> one thing you want to look for, and not just a hand axe, you want, you know, whether it's a knife, a sword, anything like that, a machete, you, you want to look for full tank. That's the important part. And anybody that knows anything about knives and whatnot, uh, you already know what that is. You know, I make these videos more for the beginners. So when I'm talking full tank, I'm talking steel that runs from here all the way down through the handle. Not a, not a joint where we separate rubber and steel or plastic and steel, whatnot, whatever it might be made out of. Or, you know, <clears throat> you want something that's full tang. That's what we're going to avoid your brakes. That's, that's something that's going to last. Now, this is the S-Wing, like I said, the 16-inch. This this axe here, I, I I tell you, I'm familiar with S-wing products. I, I years ago I built houses and the, and you know the industry standard back then. Everybody used S-wing hammers, and I can tell you, <clears throat> they they're good quality. They're products that are made to beat the snot out of things with. I can tell you that right now, and they don't break. Now my one my one regret with this, again this is the 16 inch. I will say it's heavy. It's got a good weight to it. Uh, you know, maybe I'm not quite the man I used to be. Uh, <laughs> but I, I had the option of the 16-inch or the 14-inch. I, I believe there might have even been a 12 when I was looking. And it was only like a, a 4 or $5 difference between them. So, of course, I went with the bigger. You know, bigger is always better, right? <clears throat> well, not necessarily. No, no, it depends on what you're using it on. For me, out in the backyard, busting up some kindling, stuff like that, I should have went with the 14-inch. This has got a little bit of weight to it, and really not what I want to be swinging around out there. But, again, not a big deal. Um, I might buy the other one in the future, save this guy here for some you know, more heavy-duty jobs. Uh, you know, pr pretty good edge on it. It came with a very good edge. I can't complain about that. Um, we'll see how it holds up. I've used it about six times now, busting up some kindling, and it's, so far it's it's working pretty well. There's a little, t you know, it might have been a little stone or something or a piece of gravel. I put a little divot right there in the blade. Not a huge deal. Again, I'm going to bust out a sharpening stone today. We're going to take that right off of there. And uh, that's it. I hope the review helps you guys. You know, again, look for the full tang. Uh, <clears throat> my honest opinion, you know, there's some really cool looking axes out there, or tomahawks, whatever they want to call them. And some of them have, you know, the, yeah, really fancy looking blades, or they'll have the uh, paracord handles on them. Stay away from that stuff, R really. It looks cool. It's cool to hang on your wall, but for taking it outside, it's going to blow apart like a piece of crap. Let, let me tell you. You're wasting your money. And, and like anything else, you know, in life, you get what you pay for, you know? It, it's If this thing costs $36 and this really cool one costs $19.99, it, there's a reason for it, you know? You're not getting a better quality by paying less. You never do. I don't care if it's from an axe, a, a car, a TV, whatever, whatever it is. You're not, you're not getting anything better by saving a few bucks, so... If it's something you want to be serious about and, and have it last you, good quality, spend a few extra dollars, get this. Again, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, if you're checking out the review, I hope it helps anybody in the market for a little hand axe. And uh, I'm going to try to get some more videos up, some different products, so maybe some outdoor survival tips, stuff like that. Now, again, this is my first one. I appreciate you guys coming. Thank you.